Hey guys, Zane here with another quick one take review, and today I wanted to talk about Critical Beatdown by the Ultramagnetic MCs. Critical Beatdown is one of those albums that really walks a thin line between cult favorite and genuine classic, as it's definitely not the massively popular landmark in hip-hop that an album like, say, It Takes a Nation of Millions by Public Enemy was around the same time, but at the same time, Critical Beatdown definitely does have its impact on the history of the genre. Although the MCs behind the record, Seji and Cool Keith, definitely are major performers in the realm of hip-hop, very well respected within the industry, and do deliver a lot of excellent work on Critical Beatdown, where this album shines is truly in the instrumentals. Critical Beatdown was genuinely ahead of its time in this regard, and now obviously this doesn't sound like it could have come out yesterday, this definitely does sound like it came out around 1988, which is, well, when it did actually come out, but at the same time, it certainly doesn't sound as dated as a lot of similar hip-hop from around the same decade. While you've still got a number of beats that could've easily come from the likes of very old-school hip-hop like the Sugar Hill Gang or Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, the Ultramagnetic MCs also have some beats that sound like they predate sounds of bands like Daft Punk and French house artists, and even stuff that verges on what could even be considered stuff like Proto Chemical Brothers, and other American electronic artists that would go on to make massive waves within the realm of electronic music. Again, if your ears are even remotely familiar with any sense of modern music in general, you still won't be super impressed with this record in the context of the modern era of hip-hop or music. But if you consider the time period where this came out, again, 1988, there was very little hip-hop that sounded this ahead of its time, and frankly, I think that the genre wouldn't be quite the same without this record in particular. Critical Beatdown acted as the Ultramagnetic MCs' debut album, and while they would never reach the same heights again, the clever and fun wordplay, the generally party kind of vibes that you have here, some of the proto-nerdcore hip-hop lyrics, as well as the absolutely fantastic beats and instrumentals make for a early hip-hop album that's genuinely enjoyable even by modern standards that's not by Public Enemy, which is very rare to come by sometimes. Look, I'm not saying that all old-school, pre-90s hip-hop is bad, there's a lot of great stuff within that realm of rap music, but it's just insane to see how far we've come in just a few decades, really, in terms of that genre of music, because, my god, some of it is just dated to no end. And you know what? Maybe Critical Beatdown is a bit dated too, but it's a great kind of dated if it is dated, because it still sounds like a great album, even if it doesn't sound like it came out yesterday. So I'm going to give Critical Beatdown 4 stars out of 5. I guess it would have been better if it were cut down a little bit, which is odd because this isn't really that long of an album, but there are just a couple of tracks here or there that don't really serve any purpose, but they aren't even really worth mentioning because they aren't bad songs by any means. They're just a little bit of filler there to pad out time in a time period where a hip-hop album wasn't necessarily the most popular thing to do in comparison to singles and the like. So again, four stars out of five, and with that being said, that's the end of this quick review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.